and he's gonna pick up a dress, food, a cooler, parcel, and some sports gear. And he starts his delivery. Now this is of course going to be integrated with the delivery guy's own systems, of course. We are not gonna make any special system, but, oops, sorry. Here you can see. In this demo version, Volvo, Volvo is the shop. No. But that, you just, I was just picking food items. Yes, this is when, when the, deliver, when the uh, shop has uh, sent the goods to the delivery guy. He needs to pick this up in his van to go around. So that was the pick list he needs to put in his van. This is the, the delivery guy. This is the... No, this is the, uh, the, the bring guy. Yes. So he sees. Now this is live. So we have chosen three, three cars. They're a little bit spread. Normally this is around the same area. But one in Gothenburg, this is my car. And here we have one car that is very, very close to us. And actually it is very, very close. Okay. And we can see that this car, when the delivery guy starts to, um, to uh, deliver, he, wants, he can follow the roads, of course, and it comes to a big parking lot. He wants to see, is it this car? He can flash the car, or he can make the car home can flash. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're getting, um, um, we're making sure that uh, IMI, and I don't know if, if I pressed, I think so. And uh, yeah, it's did it leave? Yeah, okay, so now, it, now, now I got a yellow. So we wait for a few seconds. Oh yeah, there you go. There it flashes. So I know that this is the car. I can even make it honk the horn, right? So when a big parking lot with several cars, several yeah. things that are going to be delivered, I can also press honk and flash every, everyone nearby. And maybe five cars will start flashing. And I'll go with that one and this and here and there. Yeah? But this how does it work? Because your cars are moving, so you're not on one spot. For delivery, it's all about efficiency. They need yes, to exactly. Cars, yes. Open. How often do you park at the same place? Yeah. At home? Yeah. At work? And so forth. So we can actually spot that. Yeah, we can that see thing. almost. And you have, of course, we have to agree upon approximately where you should be, right? I mean, I, I cannot be in, in Gotham Borough when it's in uh, when the delivery should be in Stockholm, for instance, and so forth. Okay, we have now reached the car. We have the order. So the order. This is what I should deliver. And the car is now locked. So we do an unlock. And <clears throat> now the system checks, of course, if I'm allowed to unlock this car. It was yellow, so it is. You will not see anything. Because if we would unlock a car and someone else would be there, it would not be good. So the car will not show anything. But if you try the trunk, the trunk will be open. So now you can make the delivery. And you will close, close the car again. And you will, of course, lock the car. And the lock you can see on the rear mirror that it will fold again. Oops. There, it's folding. And now it's locked. And now when I press confirm order, you will get an SMS saying that delivery is done, which he is actually doing right here now. So that is how it all worked. And we delivered about 300 parcels during seven weeks a year ago. And now we're looking into how we can commercialize this because there's been a, a huge um, interest both from, from end users and also from logistics companies and, and uh, internet retailers to see how can, what can we do, how can we implement this. The logistics company, the ability not to have to read the must That's a huge cost, yes. I think uh, a, a number was in UK uh, for one year, I think there's about one billion of cost for everyone all work together for re-deliveries because you need to go yeah they for bouncing i mean normally it bounces maybe not even once it bounces three times and the cost of you having to go and pick it up again also so to to narrow that down so and also there's other things too imagine um, when you deliver to um, a rural area you have people living at distant places everyone is actually going to one place to work so delivery during work time is easier to people's cars than to their homes so there's a lot of things that is actually better and for us of course this is a service that is uh, very convenient for our users so so and what's the business 
business model for Volvo? Are you going to charge the logistics model companies? Uh, yes, and, uh, most probably. Yeah. Most probably. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. This is all in the making. Is this based on standards or is this... This is based on, on our um, Volvo call system. So this is based on an already existing system that has been around for 14 years.